Good day everyone. Well, I've had this washing machine sitting out the front of my house for quite a while. It's a uh, Hoover 200M, a um, bit dirty and whatnot, but it's been given to me as not working. And that's pretty much the description I got. And other than that, I'm not really sure what the go is. Mm. This micro switch seems to be seems to work with plenty of room to spare and so it seems to be wrong there this is all live it's plugged in so it's the timer um, and that's a little st that's a little motor to advance the um, time mechanism and we've got the, um, the float well, well pressure switch anyway that's attached to a um, basically it's a bit hard to explain but it's got like an air trap on the side of the drum when it fills up with water it um pushes the compresses the air against the, the um, diaphragm so anyway let's fire it up and see what happens it doesn't sound happy it sounds like it's pulling in the solenoid um, for the for the clutch on the drum it doesn't sound happy let's just pull in the um just pushing the switch. The time is working. Let's um well, there you go, that just let's just let's just push in the Sounds like it's doing what it should. It sounds like it's doing what it should. Time going. Time is doing what it should. Just carefully flick that over without destroying anything. Alright. Lead switch seems to be working. There's probably nothing wrong with this machine. So, let's see if we can work out. Just push this off. And we've got a yellow wire there and a red wire going out to the switch. That's just power. It's going to a capacitor. And I wonder which the inlet would be. I'm not really sure. Hang on, it's these two. Grab out that multimeter and uh, maybe let's not do that. Let's just let's just do this the old-fashioned way. Oh, it talks. That's very useful. Actually, do have talks. Just not right here. So we can just grab something to um, make it a lot easier. Let's just grab this. Um, don't seem to be anything wrong with this. Turn it over and have a look. I think a funny noise up here. It seems to be doing what it should. What it should be doing. Just grab a screwdriver out and before the camera runs out of battery. I need, need a bigger screwdriver so it pulls in the switch so I don't have to keep holding it. All right, small one won't do the job. Let's grab a great big one. This is a bit off. Careful without damaging it. Let's see if it let's see if it spins and all that. I 
the case, the pump doing anything. Seems to be. When the pump's working, it's doing what it should be. Let's see if it spins. actually spinning I don't think. Yeah, it's not spinning, that's what the problem seems to be. Strange. Oh hang on, I know why. The um, float switch. It's not it won't spin while it's pulled in because it thinks it's still a step is to clean it up and put it in the laundry and see what happens. It's missing one of the screw covers, but... These things have a lockout with that pressure switch so that if it's still got water in it, it'll just keep the pump energised and it won't actually... it won't actually even pull in the solenoid for the... Um, for the clutch, for the um, drum, drum clutch, whatever you want to call it. Um, obviously, if you start spinning up the washing machine full of water, it's going to cause a lot of problems. So, it seems to be doing just fine. So, anyway, um, advance it so it slows down. You see what happens when it stops. Agitator's got a funny wobble on it, but the drum seems to be fine, but the agitator's... I don't know why, the... oh, it's a bit loose. I wonder if that... It's got something in there that's loose. It doesn't seem to be attached. Oh yeah, it's got a, it's got a screw down there, I think. Bugger around with it at the time. The lint trap's never been emptied either, so... And it's a bit dirty, but anyway. Uh, I was talking to my other half, and she seemed pretty sure that the problem with this machine was it wasn't pumping water out. So I thought, well, it's probably fairly logical because if there's nothing else seems to be wrong with it, um, I decided to pull this feeder hose that goes between the drum and the um, the pump. It seems to have this sort of an end bit on it that seems to be the catch stuff and well it seems to have worked so what have we got in here well turn this upside down okay what do we got well got what looks like the end of a safety pin I think there's the end of a zipper the end of a safety pin and a five cent piece that looks like it's been in there for a while so that might have something to do with why this wasn't working properly. It's also got a lot of crap in there, like... Hmm. Sand. So, I think that might explain why it wasn't working. So, I guess it just goes to show... Before you put things in the washing machine, make sure that there's nothing in your pockets, because you might be replacing a machine that's perfectly fine, and there's nothing even wrong with it. So, moral of the story is, check your pockets, empty them out, make sure there's nothing in them, because, I mean, coins won't make it past the agitator, but unless they're like this kind of size, which is fairly thin, not very wide, so this is probably there to trap coins and things from destroying the pump, but I'd say one of them's made it past into the pump. pump seems to work fine, it doesn't seem to have anything wrong with it at all. Um, yeah, I've just pulled it apart just to see, so... Anyway, thanks for watching, and there might be a part three, because I might be pulling this apart to make sure there's nothing else in the drum, and between the plastic there and the drum, because things have a habit of getting in there and sitting there. So, anyway, thanks.